Hi guys, uh, so you starting very often with AK looking more or less like this, but you wanna end up with the AK looking like more or less like that one. But do me a favor, before you will do anything on your AK, and I love when you keep buying accessories from the AKU store because it helps the channel to grow. But before you will buy anything, please, I'm begging you, shoot at least two, three hundred rounds from that basic AK and see what would you like to change then. Don't purchase anything before you will pull the trigger even on your weapon. That's insane, guys. Very often I'm getting email, hey, I just purchased online rifle XYZ, which KNS piston I should use. And again, I love to sell you KNS piston, that's not the problem. But how you know that your rifle will be overguessed? How do you know that you even need that KNS piston? I mean, just stop. Pause for a second. I know everyone is itching. I want you want to set up because it's looking cool very often. Because there's some guy on the YouTube like Rob has some cool looking AK and you want to do it exactly the same way. But first, use that basic rifle. Get a taste of it. See how it is shooting for you. And then, based on that, if you don't like, for example, the stock, right? It's too short for you. Start looking for the solutions to make it better. But maybe it will be perfectly fine. If you building a weapon, your weapon just based on the look, because something looks cool, that's not really a good idea. And again, I love, when you keep buying accessories i'm perfect like it's all cool all i'm trying to say is guys use common sense first get to know your basic rifle first see what does not gel you well with you or maybe everything will be perfectly fine on it then start doing all the crazy stuff and putting all the accessories and things like this but first put at least those i i would say 300 rounds and and get the feeling what this rifle in the basic form like that one is doing uh, for you definitely i would not spend the money ahead even if i don't have the rifle xyz in my hands yet and and start going and you know shop for all crazy stuff like you see here, right? I mean, what's the point? First see how it is shooting at all. Now, another point I wanna tell you, when you planning to build a clone of something or, or whatever, that's perfectly fine too. Like you wanna make your life, uh, rifle look like some high speed shit, that's all cool. But choose wisely what will be the host for all those accessories. The point is, with all the mixture of AKs we have right now uh, in USA, you have to be careful because not all of them are gelling with the accessories you may want to uh, put on that rifle. So check first, check first with the manufacturer of the accessories before purchasing the rifle for it if this is going to even work and if not then what would be the best host uh, for your rails and all crazy stuff uh, very often too i'm seeing the guys are asking me you know hey i purchased the again xyz rifle and will the accessory bcd <laughs> work on it and uh, it will not you can make it work right because uh, some people are very talented, but the moment I see people start going crazy with the Dremel tools uh, and uh, <laughs> completely, completely 
uh, destroying the insides of some rail systems just to make it uh, fit and then the structure becomes extremely weak. Uh, that's not going to work. So if you thinking about setting up something that you know that for like it doesn't matter how it feels right for you but it looks awesome looks cool and you want to have that the same setup then at least choose the host for those accessories which will be compatible uh, more or less because even uh, with in some cases that host may need some tweaking but don't buy the rifle which definitely will not work and then you're trying to make uh, something to fit. Also remember, for all the accessories you start putting on, there is uh, the price to pay, of course, right? But uh, the, the price to pay in the way how the rifle will handle like. And, and this rifle here, like I got it set up here, it's nicely balanced and everything. There is a counterbalance to that suppressor up front and to that um, flashlight with the of uh, the laser up front. I got the optic more in the back. I got the stock more in the back. And then I got this type of the bot stock, which balances it nicely. So it's not like you're taking the rifle and <laughs> dives nose, nose diving forward because it's absolutely out of the balance. So you want to keep the things like this too. Like when you're putting the accessories, don't slap just toilet seat, kitchen sink uh, on it in sprinkle with the, the golden pixie dust because it looks awesome in uh, some video. I uh, think what you're doing and if this is the weapon which you're going to use for either you're planning for a competition, home defense or whatever, uh, then it has to be some logic to it, how you're setting it up. And just because I run it in a setup like this, that doesn't mean that this is the best way to do it for you it may completely not work, but as far as the balancing the weapon, distributing the weight, that should be on back of your mind uh, too, when you're doing it. So one more time, uh, I have nothing against you buying the accessories. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy, especially if you're buying from AKOU store, that's awesome, thank you for that. This helps make us videos and that is freaking awesome that you guys doing it, but before, pulling a trigger on your wallet, pull the trigger on that basic, you know, polymer or wood AK you have. See how it feels, uh, see how it handles, and uh, what is the difference, and what you like about it, or, or what you don't like about it, and then make those uh, changes. Don't do them uh, only because Oh, <laughs> something looks awesome in the pictures and you don't even have a rifle in uh, your hands yet and you're already uh, dumping the money uh, on the accessories. So that's absolutely insane. I, I mean, I wouldn't do it. It's like, use it first, get known that tool and then uh, start changing whatever you don't like. All right enough with the bullshit talk i'm going back to shooting uh hopefully you guys are not offended by what i said i'm just trying to save you some uh, mistakes uh, and uh, save you some money all right thank you guys see you in the next video